treatment of diabetes has come a long way. It's going to be 100 years next year since we first discovered insulin. But we haven't really gone beyond medications and insulin for our diabetic patients, have we? If you want a cure for something, you really need to address the cause. And as we all know, type 2 diabetes is mainly about insulin resistance. And it is possible to reverse type 2 diabetes. So if you haven't already watched my video on reversal of diabetes, then I would urge you to go back and do so. Now remember, it's different how type 1 diabetes develops compared to type 2 diabetes. So in type 1 diabetes, someone's own immune system makes antibodies which attack their own pancreatic beta cells which produce insulin. So what happens is this immune attack actually leads to destruction of beta cells leading to insulin hormone deficiency. So you would find this mainly in children or young adolescent who are having to take insulin rest of their lives. So if you are actually looking for cure of type 1 diabetes, this must address two things. One is to stop this immune system attacking the beta cells and also replace the beta cells which have been already lost in the attack. So how is that possible? For type 1 diabetes, there have been exciting research and experimental options, one of which is immunotherapy, whereby you give medications to a child or a patient and actually retrain their immune system so that it stops attacking these beta cells which produce insulin. So wouldn't it be wonderful to actually stop somebody getting type 1 diabetes in the first place? But in those who have already got type 1 diabetes, there are other therapies available, one of which is called stem cell therapy. Now these stem cells, once injected into somebody, can convert themselves into any cells. And insulin producing cells obviously can be obtained from these stem cells and they can control patients' blood sugars. But then pancreatic transplant is also an option. And as we all know, with any other organ transplant, it comes with complications related to surgery or even the patient has to take immunosuppressive drugs in the long term. And that doesn't come without any side effects. So there are issues and implications around these therapies. Now, artificial pancreas is a very clever system. It has three components. First is CGM, which is a device which continuously monitors someone's blood sugars and gives this information to the second component, which is a clever computer program that calculates how much dose of insulin is needed exactly at that moment for that patient. That information is feeded into the insulin pump or the device, which actually delivers the exact dose of insulin. Isn't that fascinating? Now, although all these options sound very exciting, in country like India, we do have to worry about cost, availability, and safety, of course. So my intention to do this video was to actually increase awareness about type 1 diabetes and say that there is hope for future. 